All right, guys, we got another squat day. We are week uh, three, and no, week four into the program. I've been doing three weeks of three by six for my Monday workout. Um, now we're upping the set. So now I have four sets of six. I don't know why I do this to myself. It's gonna suck. But uh, last week I did 440 for three by six. So today um, I got a whole nother set and I'm gonna try to go heavier. I'm thinking like 450, 455, and a uh, four by six right there. And we still got accessories to do. So today's gonna be brutal, man. Oh, and I got a, uh, a homie, a uh, homie Marcus, he came through from what the IE Riverside area. Yeah, Nick, let's go. Yes, sir. So he's he's come. Um, he's like, you know, we've been chopping about getting a workout in. And he's like, man, I just want to come and learn from you, bro. So I said, best time to come. You know, we hit some legs. You can always learn a thing or two from me. I'm always trying to teach technique. If you notice in my videos, compared to like a lot of other YouTuber videos, it's more like hype and they try to just like be crazy and shit. Like, see, I, I've done that when I was young. Um, but like, I like more informational video where you actually gonna like learn something get something out of it so you could go back home and try it on yourself so always giving out uh informational tips the new merch it's it's uh out now um we got these sweats in black too we got a bunch of t-shirts this is from the old drop i might have some uh sizes left on this one so make sure to go check it out all right guys one of the first things i do um before squats or deadlifts um is i get this lacrosse ball and i roll out my glutes from a piriformis all this in here in your glutes everyone has like so much tightness in here that's why everyone has that like um what is it called uh not piriformis syndrome but sciatica because your glute will get so tight it'll give you that shooting pain either down your leg or up your back and that's what they call sciatica so it's like you got to really focus on breaking up these glutes this is my muscle that i can't like get to relax like it's always working so hard and i have to um pay people to do like um deep tissue massage on my glutes is because even this is not enough for me you can even cross your legs to make it even more harder put more pressure on that glute but basically thinking of like smashing your muscles so that's like rolling out getting this lacrosse ball doing a little bit of soft tissue then after you want to hit some like a little bit of light stretching and then um you'll be good to go from there so make sure you always smash and then do some type of stretching and then um like in that order like smash it with the lacrosse ball get a foam roller i'm gonna use a foam roller next and then after that hit, hit some uh, light stretches more active stretches don't really hold it that's a static stretch is when you hold it for longer than 10 seconds so you don't want to hold the stretches longer than that and um that's my 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 three things i do before i squat oh also i'll show you i do some uh, ankle mobility um with a band and some hip mobility with the band to really um open me up all right guys this is the uh, the banded ankle stretch i was telling you about so get a band this one's a really strong one you probably don't need this a strong one make sure you tie it to the very bottom put your foot on a bench right here make sure you're putting this band right here on the on your ankle very low on your ankle and then what you can do grab a kettlebell i like grabbing a heavy one and then from here pushing that knee over the toe making sure that heel is still staying on the bench it feels really good because the band is keeping help keeping that heel on the ground pulling it back creating some space right here on the front of your ankles so you want to hold it but i got the end range of motion right here where it can't go no more hold this for about five seconds and then come back and you'll feel like a good release right here in the front of your ankle so now we got the banded stretch the bands all the way up in my hip crease it's basically like fucking right in your crotch area um that's gonna allow to create space so um there's a whole um video on this on squat university's youtube it goes way more in depth but basically for me um i, I like to do this with the internal rotation and external so basically what i'm doing let my hip go back with the band and then with my hand pushing my knee in really focusing that internal rotation i feel a huge stretch on my glute right here big stretch hold that for five seconds and then put my hands on the ground come up with the opposite leg and then from here, I want to squeeze my glutes. One, two, three, four, five. Relax. And then right with this hand, I'm gonna push out. Really trying to externally rotate that hip. And kind of move around, play. You can do that five times. So five seconds in, five seconds out. Make sure you do five seconds to squeeze the glutes. All right. Up here, one, 
two, three, four, five. Come out. Just like that. Sit down. Sit. Good girl, lay down. Oh yeah, look at her. I be taking Kiana home sometimes. I be bringing her home for the weekend and stuff, so she knows who I am. Come on, mama. Yeah. I normally bring my dogs and they, I let them play in the back every time, but she's in her heat right now and Tyson just going crazy for her. So I just left him at home today, but normally she probably thinks I have my dogs with me. This is the best right here. Cuddles and stretching. Another reason why you gotta go to Metro. Just cuddle with the dog while you stretch. Come on, mama. On Instagram, I was made a post. I told everybody I'm, I gotta do it for YouTube now. Make sure you guys wash your fucking knee sleeves, bro. I hate when I come to the gym and you just be reeking the fucking nasty knee sleeves. <sighs> smell that for me, dog. Smell it. Smell it, Jake. That shit smells great, bro. It smells like, uh, you know, those little, um, those little beads you be putting in, like the laundry. I'd be buying that shit to make my shit smell extra good. I always get compliments on the girls, like, oh, you smell so good. That's my clothes. That's my laundry detergent. So make sure you you um, get your knee sleeves. But look at these are my competition ones. Look how fucking big these are. They're like twice the like the strength. These ones are like nothing. So I mean I wouldn't say nothing, but no, nothing compared to these. So I train with these because they're just easier to put on. You don't get as much spring. And then once I get very close to competition, um, I don't know, maybe six weeks out, eight weeks out, I'll start using these as it gets heavier and just getting more comfortable with them. And they do give you a little bit more spring. So um, that's the difference. But we're gonna train with these ones today. Went from the Nike to the Nike right here. The Romelio 2s, I've had these forever. Like, shit, I think I got these in like 2000, like 14, 2015. We're in fucking 2024, man. Time is flying. And um, what's crazy is I, I bought the threes and they made them smaller. And those we used to really squeeze my feet. And now there's all this, you know, white toe box shoe, which is great, you know? Um, and they, they made some shoes called like TYRs. That's like a really wide toe shoe. And it's crazy because these are the exact same models that TYR, like it's very wide. So you could really feel your toes like um, touching the ground, not all like this, where your, to your, your toes can't even really move. This is a lot wider of a shoe. So um, I used to actually squat in these and then I stopped. Now I'm trying them back again and they feel great. So I'm really, excited i still had these and then throw them away honestly i had an Indi indian give them i gave them to my homie my homie my homie uh miklo and because he's a w olympic weightlifter he's like bro they don't even make these shoes like people sell these shoes like stock x for like a lot of money used and so um i had an indian give them and he gave them back to me because he's not really training right now so um yeah man so let's get it we got some heavy squats today is gonna suck man leg day i love it and i hate it you know so you gotta you gotta get that um you gotta have that good uh energy you know you a lot of people hate legs and you know they complain about it and shit your, your squat's gonna complain about it too so it's like you gotta have that positive mindset when it comes to hitting legs so the homie right here came um uh, marcus came through today to like kind of like um you know just learn some things and i could already tell um some things i can help him out um he's got really tight ankles that's why he, he has a, t a problem hitting depth or like going any lower in his squat because um his uh heels want to come up and also another thing too i noticed is when he squats his um he's lifting up his front toes when i first used to squat i used to do that shit a lot like i used to be a horrible trainer and fucking tell people to pick their toes up and send the weight to your heels which is horribly wrong you you want your feet to be um three points of contact basically like a fucking tripod you want your feet to look like this like when it's touching the ground it's got to have three points your big toe your pinky toe and your heel so you're that's where you produce the most power if you pick your toes up and you're all on your heel you're turning off your quads and quad is four muscles that's a lot of muscles you're not using and then you're putting everything on your hips your lower back and that's why people have bad backs from back squatting and front squatting is a lot more easier um, for people to do or it feels better because the weight's in front of them and it makes that front toe go down so what i'm gonna do for him is elevate his heels so when he stands on an elevation his toes are really are going to be forced to stay down so he's going to feel a lot more better to push off his toes and then he's going to be able to like increase his range of motion it's pushing my knees forward and going straight down i'm pointing my toe down yeah it's fine push those knees forward push those knees forward put like that <laughs> I barely get my hands behind the bar. Look at this is like comfortable for me. My hands legit touching the collars. Good. That like all.
Better, better. I feel great. Yeah. All right, we got last warm up right here, 415. Time to slide up the knee sleeve. Ooh, feel nice and brand new. Ooh, felt good, felt good. Gotta go up like. 45 more pounds though and do four sets of six. That's where the real work's gonna be right there, boy. There you go. Good. I'm gonna make fun of the low bar squatters. Uh, can you chalk my back, bro? Can you chalk my back? You don't need that shit. If you squat high bar, you don't wanna chalk your back. Cardio. Man. That shit fell pretty easy. Come on, baby. Fuck these motherfuckers, dog. Cardio. And call me when you like, everybody want to be a bodybuilder. Ain't nobody trying to lift no heavy ass weight. That's how I feel. Look at anybody in here. Nobody's squatting heavy weight for reps. Everybody's doing doubles and triples. Let's go, <laughs> I don't feel like doing this. It's like, <laughs> all right, let's get it. Let's go. 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 Holy moly. Oh man. That last set is always where you like contemplating, like, should I just skip it? My knees are hurting. But gotta get it done. My knees aren't even hurting. I'm just tired. But um this is like for some reason this is what I like, this feeling. I'm feeling sick or like this feeling like I don't want to do it. Or like if anybody else was in my shoes, they would skip it. Ain't no one gonna know if I skip this set. But I will. I won't be able to go to bed at night. So I get four six out here. Feeling good man, four fifty five. I'm glad I didn't do 465. I really wanted 465. The ego and me wanted me. It would look better for the video. Four plates in a 25 instead of four plates in two tens. Um, what? We just put the two tens on? I did 440 last week for only three by six. This is 
455 for four by six, so six extra reps. So, and if I, even if I did the same weight, 440, it'd be a win because I'm doing a whole extra set. But I went up and I still got all my sets. So I still got one more set to go. So let's see how it goes. No, oh, homie, I'm no, I'm no bodybuilder. I'm not. I'm not taking my. I think my pants off. Not my shirt. I was talking my bodybuilder. Mom, I'm sorry. Keep it clean. The children like it. They'll call me the hammer for nothing. <laughs> I need. I just need you to say, "Don't be a bitch" and finish my set. I know you're not a bitch. I'm trained with you. This is my fourth set, so the, the inner bitch is calling. Can I still call you Pitbull, or is that name? Yeah, of course. Call me Pitbull. The, the original Pitbull. Yes, yeah, sir. Let's get it, baby. Come on! Woo! Come on, Pit! Come on! Oh, wait, wait! Let's go, baby. Come on. Let's go. Nice. Easy. Easy work. Easy work. Let's go. Come on. There you go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. You got this. Come on. Pick. Come on. Let's go. Last two. Up, 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 up. Last two. One more. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Up, 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 up. Good shit. Good shit. Oh yeah. Hi mom. <laughs> Thanks, homie. Shit, babe. All right. All right. Normally, um, I do like goblet squats after, but they just got this new machine on Metro, and I've used it once. It feels amazing. Really taxed my quads. Um, yeah. So we're gonna get like uh, three sets of ten right here. Last time I worked up, I did like a plate ten, two plates ten, three plates ten. But pretty easy. So um we'll see how i feel after squats i got three plates on here right now we're gonna hit some 10. really focusing on the eccentric really focusing on controlling it on the way down and exploding up That was hard. Woo, that felt great. I really feel a lot of my like um the inside of my quad right here. They're killing me. There you go. Down. Clean. <clears throat> Now we're gonna go into some uh, GHRs. We're gonna do like three sets of eight. Um, just focusing on basically like driving your your Achilles into this pad. And um, he's never done them, Marcus never done them. So I'm gonna kind of like show him how to do it. But basically like you're gonna be in here, start fully extended like this. And then what you wanna think about is your butt going back into your heels. So you wanna think about your uh, pulling your toes up and legit think about your butt going into your heels. So you gotta go, Butt to your heels, that's one. Butt to your heel. Let me push the seat up a little bit closer. Thinking about your hip, your butt going straight to your heels. So here, one, come back down, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. Up. Hey. Oh my God. These are brutal, man. Like uh, your 
you're you're lengthening and you're strengthening your hamstrings it's the best hamstring workout for you probably besides the, the nordic curl which is like you basically lowering yourself down and pulling yourself back up without like touching your chest so this makes it a little bit more easier fully extend fully extend there you go and now think about your your no think about your butt going to your heels so push back like that there you go that's one don't feel like your shit's gonna cramp up bro there you go two there you go come on three there you go try to get to six come on four five one more six good my shit gets pumped like after like one set my hamstring will be fucking that's pumped up bro tears yeah it's always gonna tear that's how you get them strong hammies nobody does this so all you guys are weak Ah, fuck. Oh my god. That's just brutal. Up. 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 Fuck. God damn. Bruh. Hamstring strength is so important to have. Like, if you don't have strong hamstrings, you're just neglecting your, your, I bet you don't got a strong deadlift or a strong squat, so. And the hamstrings are very important, crucial muscles, especially for athletes. So a lot of people are always pulling them because they're weak. The quad, their quad is a lot stronger than the hamstring. So people pull hamstrings when they run a lot. So hamstring health is super important, especially for athletes. All right, guys, we're gonna finish it with some core. Every time I do squats, I always end up with some core because you're using a lot of core when you're squatting. So we got to build that one. Bulletproof core, stronger core. Let's strain on your back. Always focus on getting that. I love this. It's called GHD sit up. So I want to get that big stretch. Come all the way up. Keep constant tension. Don't come right here because you lose the tension. Constant tension right here. <sighs> uh. <sighs> little set of 12 right there, 360 12. That's it. All right, guys, we just finished um, leg day today. Um, it was four sets of six out of 455. I got all my sets. Felt really good, honestly. Um, building my squat back up. Um, <laughs> felt really good and then after that we hit the true squat machine eddie got the got these new machines from the uk they feel amazing really taxing my quads without really involving my lower back um so we did that got some ghrs and then we um also did uh some core it's a little bit of uh, sit up so um yeah man stay tuned slowly getting stronger um definitely um my homie marcus was in this video he's from the ie and stuff like that i was just trying to give him some tips and tricks because a lot of you guys are starting at a beginner level kind of like he is so um yeah just give you a little bit of advice right there but um make sure you guys follow along make sure you co uh, like comment subscribe see you guys later